This video demonstrates the specific technique of suture button fixation and arthroscopic dorsal capsule ligamentous repair in chronic scapulonic dissociation in a 29 years old male. He had long standing chronic wrist pain following trauma. Wrist radiograph showing widening of the SL joint and increased SL angle with DC deformity on the lateral view. CT scan showing no obvious bony changes. MRI showing SL and LT ligament injury and dorsal capsule detachment. This technique is contraindicated in irreducible couple malalignment or degenerative changes in the mid couple or radiocouple joints. The reducibility can be assessed by performing a 4D CT assessment preoperatively. Examination of the radiocouple joint with its standard 3, 4, and 6R radiocouple portals shows that the dorsal intercouple ligament was torn and SL ligament torn over the radiocouple joint. Arthroscopic examination on, M on MCU portal show basilar grade 4 SL injury evident by the positive graph 2 sign over SL joint, LT step off, floating lunette with rocking chair sign and drive through sign over LT. Neck traction is released and the hand is placed on the operating table. The 3 4 portal incision is extended. A tensor tendon, EPL, and ECRB are retracted. Then the dorsal capsule is opened over the scapulonate ligament. We use the second generation Altrac SB system. A small skin incision is made at the level of the volar radial aspect of the STT joint to allow exit of the guide wire and for passage of the suture button. A 1.1mm guide wire is introduced through the 3-4 portal incision towards the volar radial aspect of the distal pole of the scaphoid. If available, the direction of the guide wire can be determined with a jig system. The guide wire is pulled back slightly from the distal exit side. A polling suture is passed through the K wire's nitinol loop and the guide wire's opposite end is pulled, bringing the suture completely through and existing at the distal pole of the scaphoid. Then, the nitinol loop of the K wire was cut. The suture button device is passed to the polling suture. The polling suture is pulled towards the 3-4 portal, taking the SB device through the tunnel along the scaphoid. The first button is anchored on the distal pole of the scaphoid. The position of the first button is checked under the fluoroscopic image. Then, the proximal part of the lunate is exposed. A second guide wire is then directed towards the trichotrum from the lunate. Its position is confirmed under fluoroscopic control. The guide wire is further pulled back slightly from the exit side. The suture button device is again passed through the retinal loop of the K-wire and the opposite end of the guide wire is pulled, bringing the SB device completely through and existing at the volar ana side of the trichotrum. The second button is then anchored on the trichotrum. The SB system is tensioned. Reduction is achieved by tensioning the system and checking under proscopic after the first knot is tied. Then, multiple knots are securely tied. This is the final fluoroscopic image after tensioning both suture buttons showing a reduction of the SL joint and SL angle. Next, the reduction is checked arthroscopically. Following suture button fixation, no more dissociation or steps were seen. Then, the dorsal capsular ligamentous repair is done for biological healing. The sutures are passed through the dorsal capsule and the remnants of the intrinsic ligament via the 3-4 radiocarpal portal. Then, both distal sutures are retrieved by two different portals in the distal transcapsular area at the MCR portal. Similar techniques are used to repair LT ligament. Traction is then released and the wrist is extended to tie the last two proximal strands via the 3-4 and 6-R portal. Post-operative, post we apply a cast for 3 weeks followed by 3 weeks of splint. This is the final radiograph image post-operative. This is the, dy the dynamic 4D assessment post-operative showing restoration of SL dissociation. This is our patient who has fitness instructor currently able to return to work and lift heavy weights. 
The other fashion is a basketball basketball athlete who co return to sport after this operation technique. We call this smiley SB technique for smiley face. In conclusion, this is a minimally invasive good surgical technique with good short and long term outcome for chronic reducible scapulonic dissociation. These are my references. Thank you for your attention.